By definition, a missile is a self-propelled precision gun and munition system. The first missiles were developed by Nazi Germany in World War II. As they had experimental jet engines and little wings, they weren't very fast and were also very inaccurate. Here is a picture of the inside of a V-1 rocket. And here now is a picture of a V-1 rocket launch site and the typical rails used to launch such rockets. Instead of being in a missile silo, these rockets were launched along rails. The RAF sent small squadrons of planes on Rubert missions, aimed at destroying V-1 rocket launch sites along the coast of France. Nowadays, missiles can be launched by Navy ships, Navy aircraft, and from missile silos dug underground. In extreme cases, RAF planes would have to shoot the rockets out to the sky, which could risk destroying the aircraft from the explosion of the missile itself. There are four types of missiles. Air-to-air, air-to-ground, ground-to-air, and ground-to-ground. -ground. On the 3rd of July 1988, Iran Air Flight 655 was shot down by the U.S. Navy over the Persian Gulf. The ship had mistaken it for an Iran Air Force F-14 Tomcat fighter jet. 290 people were killed. On the 3rd of September 1983, a Korean Airlines Boeing 747 was shot down en route to Seoul from New York by a Russian Su-15. It had deviated from its flight plan and entered Soviet-prohibited airspace. It was thought to be a spy plane. 269 people were killed. Since Kim Jong-un has come into power in 2011, he has launched six nuclear missile tests. He has also developed a missile capable of a range of 10,000 kilometers. That's from North Korea to Las Vegas. Kim Jong-un has also launched test missiles over China. A missile has four main components. Missile guidance, flight system, engine, and a warhead. The common guidance for missiles is a form of radiation such as infrared lasers, or radio waves. In flight, a missile's flight system will move over the missile in flight to counter inaccuracies or to follow a moving target. This is done using vector thrust or by using wings or fins. Most missiles are powered by a rocket engine using solid fuel. Some long range missiles use liquid pellet rockets. The missile's warhead is the only part of the missile built for destruction. Specially shaped chargers are used to help penetrate hard targets. Warheads can range from incendiary to nuclear. Thanks for watching.